Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I would like to continue um, a discussion about how the distance is measured in Cartesian coordinates. And this lecture is about the distance between two points on the plane. So you have a plane. Well, this particular whiteboard is the plane. And on the plane, I have Cartesian coordinates, which means I have two perpendicular to each other uh, lines. On each of these lines, I have Cartesian coordinate system with coinciding origin for both of them. So this point of intersection is origin for both this and this. So this is called x-axis. This is called y-axis. Um, and I have two points I would like to measure the distance between, right? So um, let's say two points are somewhere. It doesn't really matter where they are. This is point A with coordinate x, a, y, a. And this is point B with coordinate x, b, y, b. So what does it mean that this particular point has coordinates x, b, and y, b? It means if I project, drop the perpendicular to the y-axis, then I would have the point y, b. If I will project b towards the x-axis, this would be the point with coordinates x, b. Similarly, x, a would have uh, x, a, and here, x, b. These are coordinates. So every point is projected to both uh, axes, axis, um, and projected means I drop the perpendicular to. And wherever this perpendicular drops, the point has some coordinate on this line because it, it, it has its own coordinate. And this line has its own coordinate. Uh, oh, wait a moment. This is rock. This is YA. OK. So that's the picture which I would like to start with. Two points. Each one has certain coordinates. Now, the distance between them, the distance between this point and this point, not sure how visible it is. OK. So what do we do? Well, what I suggest to do is to continue these perpendiculars until they intersect the other lines. Okay. Now, what do we have? What's interesting is, let's call, it, let's call this point M and this point N. Well, obviously, since these are perpendiculars to the same line, they're parallel. These are perpendicular to this line, they're parallel. All angles are 90 degrees, so N, A, M, B is a rectangle. Now, I'm using certain properties uh, which are explained in more details in the geometry uh, part of this course. So you basically can consider the proof of whatever I'm doing here as based on certain geometrical properties. If you did not um, study these, well, you can just skip the proof and get the result. Um, but the proof will be obvious after you will study uh, this piece of geometry. So I'm using the geometrical language and geometrical um, uh, theorems and properties as, as basically is explained in the course somewhere else. So um, again, A, N, B, M is a rectangle. Now A, B is its um, hypotenuse. Uh, it's uh, hypotenuse, well, not hypotenuse, it's a diagonal, but it's a hypotenuse in this triangle, which is half of this 
uh, rectangle. So ABM is a right triangle as well as ABN, and AB is a hypotenuse, which means we can use the Pythagorean theorem to get its lengths. But now let's talk about what are the catchy of um, this particular um, uh, right triangle. Well, the catchy. The catheter is X, uh, BM. The catheter is BM. Well, um, obviously, the difference between the distance between B and M is the same as distance between these two points, which have coordinates XB and XA. So, since Pythagorean theorem deals with uh, the square of each catheter, so I need the square of the distance between B and M, which is the same as distance the square of the distance between xb and xa. And we know that that particular thing is xb minus xa squared. That was explained in the previous lecture where I was talking about the distance between two points on a line where Cartesian coordinate system is established. Now, very similarly, what about the catheters am? Well, since this catheter is equal exactly the distance between YA and YB, then the square of the distance between A and M, or between A, YA and, and YB, is, is this. And now let's talk about Pythagorean theorem. Square of this plus square of this is the square of the, of, of the hypotenuse. So now I have the formula d squared is equal to, where d is the distance between a and b, sum of this. Square of the distance between um, abscissas and add it to square of the distance between ordinates of these two points. This is a general formula. And uh, I told you in the previous lecture that it's the square of the distance which is a little bit more frequently used as, as a formula for, for, the, for the distance between two points. And now you see that this actually is very much resembling the one-dimensional case on the line. On the line, you have this. In two-dimensional case, you have basically the same formula on each dimension x is one dimension, and y is another dimension, and you add them together. Basically, that's it. This is a very simple formula, and uh, obviously it's used quite extensively in mathematics. Um, and, uh, well, um, in the space, you will have the third dimension, and it will look the same. So we'll talk about this some other time. More than that, um, uh, the higher mathematics are um, uh, higher mathematics uh, has a subject basically where multi-dimensional spaces are studied, and uh, in the multi-dimensional space, the formula is exactly the same. You have to have the square of a distance on each dimension, and then you add them together to get the square of a distance between two uh, well multi-dimensional points. Um, all right, so I would suggest you to read again the notes for this lecture. They are on unisorb.com. Um, and, uh, well, that's it. Thanks very much, and good luck.